Hey guys, welcome back to Chicken Brawl. I am your host, The Chicken, and in today's video, we are going to be going over the future of Brawl Stars. So let's, uh, let's let Frank take it away, and let's go. We engage with our previous players, so they're great for the game's growth and health. Also, it's just plain fun to work with iconic IPs. But, we heard you, you also want permanent features and quality of life improvements, not just time limited events. And, we agree, so this is our plan for every- I like that because uh, I, I, that's exactly how I felt about the Spongebob event, was it was really cool. Um, but towards the end I was like, you know, these Spongebob modifier dudes, you know, they're fun, but since they're not permanent, I don't really care about them. So that's nice they addressed that right out of the gate. Every update in 2025, we want to add smaller permanent fixes and quality of life changes. Things like performance improvements, getting rid of annoying bugs, making it easier to choose brawlers and ranked, and so on and so forth. And for every other update, so about every four months, we would like to either release a new big feature or rework old ones that are not fun anymore or performing so well anymore, like <coughs> mega pig. And that's the general structure we want to apply for updates in 2020. So they know we don't play the Mega Pig, I guess that's out of the bag. 25. But now let's go deeper into each update and what we are planning. A new time limited event is coming. I know, I know, but it was already planned. And it's gonna be a fun one. There'll be a battle for Brawl Stars with Mortis on one side and Edgar on the other side. Maybe it's a battle for the West teammate? We'll also make changes to everyone's favorite system, the trophy reset. It'll keep resetting trophies, but only after you reach 1000 trophies. So climbing up there is gonna be a lot easier. When it does reset, depending on... We went over the trophy rework stuff in yesterday's video. Again, if you haven't seen that, make sure you check it out. Um, I'll do another video on it soon, but um, I'm really excited for this because I play Brawl Stars casually, as you guys know, and this got me really excited to uh, to push in Brawl Stars pretty much for the first time. Well, you've played during the season, you will be rewarded with a new unique trophy box that has a chance to give you skins, including skins that currently cannot be obtained with Blink. We'll also introduce a new leaderboard besides the existing seasonal one, which will track all time trophy achievements forever so ladder warriors can show off even more. Yes, we know, you have a million questions right now, and those will be answered in the next Brawl Talk. The trophy road itself won't be changed for now, but it's something we would like to touch in the future. There's something big coming to Star Park these Brawl days, but we don't want to ruin the surprise yet. Note that the further away an update is... The lore is back. Let's go. The less concrete the ideas are, but this at least is a plan for now. For our first update of 2025, our focus is to further integrate ranked and esports into the game. Imagine that progressing through rank would be an additional path to enter the Brawl Stars Championship. We already see this in other games, and it's a great way to introduce amazing but unknown players to the esports world. And of course, we would take this opportunity to improve ranked itself. We want it to be more competitive for the sweats, make the transition from casual to pro smoother, and open quality of life improvements, like a guaranteed ranked skin after a certain number. <laughs> Casually called them sweats. That's so funny. Of rank drops, for example, a really, really cool color. Can you guess what it could be? And some small improvements to gameplay alongside it. We would like to rework the mastery system, or trophy road, or maybe even both. With the trophy road, we've been thinking about integrating it fully with the Star Park lore, which is currently only really explored on our social channels and almost non-existent in the game. There are so many amazing stories to tell in Star Park, and we want to tell them. We're also looking at something many of you asked us for. Should we explore achievements? Another, you guessed it, up! And, if everything goes according to plan, all brawlers should have hypercharges in this update, meaning that every new brawler after that would be released with a hypercharge ready to unlock at launch. So, if everyone has a hypercharge, is it time for power level 12? No, we genuinely don't think that's the answer, but to be honest, we don't know what would be the next step. It's time to lock Adrian back in the design dungeon. We currently have a power point inflation for a long time. Poor Adrian. Players. And if you're in this situation, you are more hungry for new abilities and changes. At the same time, newer players don't experience either of these issues. So, the question for us now is, can we create something new that feels fun? That's another expression for skill and would be upgraded mostly with powerpoints? Would that be possible? We think so. 
And finally, with the last update of 2025, we would like to tackle the map maker. Currently, it's very far from what we originally envisioned. Today, it's come with some of the green light maps. We would like to make it easy to share maps and make them playable with codes, so you can easily show them off online or to your friends. More options that would allow players to not only create maps, but explore new custom game modes and different activities. More like a sandbox experience than it's currently. And with this, we want to add even more encouragement for players to keep creating content for the game and make the map maker alive again. These are not small tasks, and we'll probably need to start working on them simultaneously with other updates. But hopefully we'll make it happen. <sighs> that was a long one. Let us know what you think in the comments, and we'll see you again for Brawl Talk. So, pretty cool. I mean, overall, I, I, I love this. And <clears throat> I, I like all of the, uh, the updates that he shared and the plans and stuff. More importantly, what I love is just the just the transparency. We didn't get to play a Dark Keep Pearl in the Dark Keep Pearl video, so we'll, we'll do that right now. Um, I love the transparency. I love the openness. It makes me feel like as a player, you know, not as a YouTuber. It makes me feel, um, you know, very good about the game, and it's it's just really nice to know the things that they are working on. And yeah, I, I love how they do that. I wish they did that for all their games. Ahem, Boom Beach, but. Um, I, I guess they do a decent job for what it is. I shouldn't say that, but you know what I mean. It's just cool to see a peek behind the scenes, what they're working on, and all that good stuff. So, yeah, I'm probably most excited for the new uh, ranked mode. I think that's going to be really good, and I'm interested to see, you know, just how that's going to shape up, how players are going to like it. Um, he did touch on some stuff. Um, focusing on esports and that kind of thing. Like I get people are really into the esports scene and stuff, but I'm more interested in things, I guess, from a casual player's kind of point of view. Um, that would affect, you know, like my gameplay and the content that I make. But it's still cool to see. It's it's all good stuff. I mean, all of that is good stuff. It all helps, you know, the game become better. People enjoy it more, and um, yeah, overall, like he said. Uh, the health of the game. And I think it's good to see, too, that they're going to be doing more collabs because I'm sure that's a big uh, money thing for them. I'm assuming, like, when they pair up with these guys, that there's um, a fair chunk of money exchange, which is good. The game makes more money. We get cooler updates, and they can put more, you know, design time on doing the things that we like. So we're very close to that next goal, guys. We're almost right there. Um, but, yeah, so you guys let me know in the comments. Do you... Oh, I thought it said free skin for a second. I was like, what? How did I miss that? Um, you guys let me know in the comments. Do you, are you excited about the future of Brawl Stars? Do you love it? Do you hate it? Um, I only kind of touched on the positive stuff there, but i um, definitely curious to hear from you. So let me know what you think down below. Appreciate you guys. We'll catch you next one. Chicken out. Back, back.